What's going on everyone? I'm a college student and much like probably every other college student in the world, I have to deal with a lot of classes that I really wish I didn't have to take. Now don't get me wrong, I enjoy the majority of my classes because the majority of them are relevant to what I want to study. But every university forces their students to take some amount of classes that frankly you just wish you didn't have to do. These can be in the form of requirements for general curriculum or just extra classes that you need to graduate on time. As an example, this is one of the requirements for my degree, Pathways Concept 2, Critical Thinking in the Humanities. Now you see it says I need to complete six hours of Pathways Concept 2, Critical Thinking in the Humanities. So far, I've already completed three, which means I need three more hours. And that's just one course. And these are all of the courses that I can choose from. Rather than me trying to guess which of these courses would be the easiest, I'm gonna utilize data that the university publishes every single semester on the grades that students received in various courses. A lot of universities do this because it promotes good practices in teaching, it keeps people accountable, and it's a little more transparent for students to be able to understand what type of course they're getting themselves into. For my university, we have a couple different websites that publish this data and make it very easy for students to go ahead and look up their courses and what type of grades they can expect to get. So this is the website that I primarily use to get the data regarding uh, historical class grades. It's pretty simple. I can type in the name of a course that I'm thinking about taking, select that course, and I get all of this great data. Now, all of this is really great data, but for my purposes, I really only care about this average GPA right here. Now, don't forget how long that list of courses that I showed you before was. Putting every single one of these into that website and looking them up one by one would take forever. That sounds like a pretty repetitive and mundane task, something perfect for Python automation. So the goal for this project is gonna to be to write a script that I can hand it a big list of course names and it's gonna run through every single one of those courses in that website and determine the average GPAs of each of them, letting me know which one will be the easiest course for me to take and thus I know which course I should select in course request. So without further ado, let's get started. Hey, future Kyle here. Thought I'd do a little bit of audio narration and talk about some of the challenges with this project. Uh, the first of which was that the GPA is actually not displayed as plain text. So that meant I was not able to simply scrape the web page, copy the data, and repeat. Um, instead, I was actually able to identify the uh, JSON request that was performed by the web page and then replicate that JSON request in my own code, getting the entire uh, packet of data returned as a JSON object and parsing that object for the average GPA. That's about it. See ya. All right, so I am all set now. Um, I'll give you a quick run through of what the script does. It's relatively simple. Um, this first part here is literally just asking the user for the university name because I wanted this to be a little more generic. So hopefully more people can use it than uh, just Virginia Tech students. After you give it your school name and point it to a text file, which um, I've created here by literally just copying and pasting, uh, the list of all the courses that you want it to check for. Then the script will go through and put in a request for each one of these classes, trying to get the average GPA. This works by performing a JSON request to Anu's servers, giving it the keys for university, the subject and the actual course number. And after it's gotten a average GPA for every single course, it will actually write those to a file along with the course names so that you can go ahead and see which course looks best for you to take. Um, I'll give you a little test run here. So we start off with asking for the university ANU ID, and then it's gonna ask if you'd like to input from a file or paste course names. I'm gonna say file and point it to courses.txt. And now you'll see it's going to immediately start querying the ANU servers for every single course listed in that file, printing out the subject name, course number, and associated GPA. And if we watch this folder down here, we should see as it finishes up, the results.csv file uh, gets populated. I'm gonna go ahead and open this in Google Drive. Um, 
and here it is. This is a list of every course that we asked the script to query and the GPA that it found. You'll notice that some of the courses have null for the GPA. That just means that the website did not have any data on this specific course, but that's totally fine. This is still very useful data. And in fact, we can sort it and see which courses yield students with the highest grades at the end of the term. And so one of these will likely end up being the course that I plan on taking in order to fulfill my requirement. That about wraps it up for this one. Make sure to check out the link in the description if you want to give this project a shot on your own. If you want to get a free stock, make sure to check out the link for Webull as well. Leave a comment on what you want to see next or if you have any questions. And of course, make sure to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for the next one. As always, thanks for watching. Peace.